G'day everyone. A few weeks back I made a video where I just ran through what my favourite redfin and trout fishing rod and reel combo is and why I like it. And a lot of people have asked me if I can do something similar with my Murray cod fishing outfit. So here it is, my Murray cod fishing rod and reel combo. Hopefully a car doesn't go past, because that will cause major distraction. That's not a car coming, is it? It's not a car coming. No. Right, there you go. Rightio. This Murray Cod rod and reel combo is an absolute weapon for shore-based Murray Cod fishing. Just flicking lures from the bank, wading from a kayak, and even from a boat. It's just a great rod and reel combo. This is not a paid product placement, but they did give me a free fishing rod. Okay, so... What I've got is, uh, the rod is a Venom fishing rod. It's a six kilogram bait caster series. It is an absolute ripper. Quite an expensive rod, but very, very good. I'm using a Shimano Corrado reel with a, I think it's a seven to one, 6.3 to one gear ratio. Fantastic reel. And I'm using 50 pound fins braided line. Great line. Now let's break that down. This is a Venom fishing rod. Venom are quite a high-end rod. They're very expensive. I'm very fortunate in the sense that the guys at Wilson Fishing sent me a Venom. A month later, I snapped it. So they, uh, they like me enough to send me another one and I thank you very much, Wilson Fishing. Now, most people that know me know that I don't delve too much into technical data. I don't talk too much about the technical aspect of things. I don't know what sort of I mate, S8, MFA, NFI, I don't know much. But I do know a good product when I hold one. Over the years, I have used dozens of fishing rods. Some perform better than others. Generally speaking, you get what you pay for. So a $120 fishing rod might cast okay and it will do the job, whereas a $400 fishing rod will probably cast a lot better. A rule of thumb is you want a rod that's graphite or graphite based. So stiff, not glass, not too floppy. A stiff, stiff lures load up Stiff rods, sorry, load up better when you cast lures. They handle the casting better and they tend to cast with a lot more accuracy. You want to choose your length based on your needs. If you're casting from the bank of a lake and you want something to cast a long way, you might want something that's really, really long. I've got a long fishing rod, it's an NS1s. It's seven foot two and I use that for that very reason. But as the vast majority of my cod fishing is in smaller waterways, I like a slightly shorter rod, and this is six foot long. Venom, six kilogram bait caster. Now over the years, I've had heaps of fishing rods. One of the, my favorite ones that I've had was a GL3 Loomis. It was a great rod, and if you want that rod, it's currently floating down the ovens river near Tarawinji somewhere. <laughs> I lost it in a kayak capsize. I had a number of rods after that, and then Wilson came along and sent me this Venom. This Venom rod allows me to cast with precision accuracy. This is the best rod that I've ever had. And personally, I don't like to compare products too much, but personally, I, I am sure that this pips the GL3 Loomis that I used to have and that I used to love. I loved it, but I think this is just a little bit better. And I'm gonna give you a few casting demonstrations right now. Just watch how accurately I can place these lures in these next few clips. Got him. It's only a little, but I've got him. This is a prime Murray Cod spot, isn't it? Look at that. Look where that landed, Brett, right in that corner. What a massive big carp to see. I wonder if I can fail hook it. Oh, I bloody near did, you know. That's in the zone. Oh, little one hit it. Righty A. So casting is everything. Casting is the most critical point or the most critical part of fishing doesn't matter what lure you use doesn't matter what color your lure is doesn't matter what the water's like if you can't cast you're not going to catch fish you need to be able to cast accurately and that's why using a venom rod allows me to cast with precision accuracy now let's move on to the reel this is a shimano corrado 6.3 to 1 gear ratio 
The reason I chose this one is because my last one was attached to the GR Loomis that's floating down the Ovens River somewhere. <laughs> I love that reel, so I stuck with it. This isn't a sponsored reel, I bought this reel. I like a high speed ratio. You can get five to one, six to one, seven to one. I like the theory that it's easier to turn a fast reel slowly than it is to turn a slow reel quickly. So I like to go with a higher gear ratio and just slow the retrieve down if I need to. The Shimano Corrado, they're a well-priced reel. They're in the middle of the range. They're not really cheap, but they're not really expensive either. They're a good all-round reel. They cast very well. Possibly the only gripe I've got is it's got a little bit of a, a node, like a shape on the bottom of the, the reel here that digs into my index finger when I'm casting sometimes and gives me a bit of a blister or a bit of a callus. Usually early in the season. Boy, Christmas time, the skin's that tough. It, uh, it's all calloused out, if you know what I mean. Shimano Corrado Venom Rod, great great rod and reel combo. The line is 50 pounds fins, 50 pound fins braid. I like the fins. I've tried a few different ones over the years. I've used Maxima braid, which is almost identical but a different colour. So I've stuck with what I've liked. Over the years, I've had different sorts. Gorilla braid, Remington Power Locked was a great line that they stopped making, as far as I'm aware of. There was different sorts of fusion, spider wire back in the day. But the fins is. For no other reason, it's probably the best line that I've used just because I like it. It works well for me, it casts well for me, and it's nice and strong for me. Now, a lot of people ask me why I use 50 pound. 50, with, with braided line, it's very fine. See, with monofilament, 50 pound line is very thick, and it really hinders the action of the lure. It hinders your casting distance, and it hinders the lure from diving properly because it floats so much. So you need a lighter line. But with braid, you haven't got those problems because the 50 pound braid is already not much thicker than 8 or 9 pound mono. It's quite thin. So, the 50 pound braid over, say, 10 or 20 pound braid, I don't lose any casting distance. I don't lose any lure diving distance. But what I gain is strength. So that when I catch these overhanging trees, and I do do that, and we all do that, none of us are immune. When I catch these overhanging trees, when I snag expensive lures such as this NZ crawler by depths, out on all these logs and stuff in the middle of the river, by using 50 pound line, I've got a greater chance of getting the, the, the lure back. If I catch a larger fish, I've got less chance of losing the fish if I'm using heavier line. But usually, majority of my fish, I could catch with probably eight or nine, 10 pound line. But I would lose a hell of a lot more lures to trees and branches and stuff. So there we go, folks. That is my Murray Cod setup. A beautiful Venom 6 kilogram bait caster rod from the bait caster series. Shimano Corrado 6.3 to 1. That's a Shimano Corrado 200 size, 6.3 to 1 gear ratio. 50 pound fins braid. Can't go wrong.